పోలీస్ అమరవీరుల సంస్మరణ దినాన్ని ఈ రోజు జరుపుకుంటున్నారు విధి నిర్వహణలో అమరులైన పోలీసులకు నివాళులర్పిస్తున్నారు విజయవాడ ఇందిరాగాంధీ మున్సిపల్ స్టేడియంలో జరిగే పోలీస్ అమరవీరుల సంస్మరణ కార్యక్రమంలో ముఖ్యమంత్రి జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి పాల్గొని పోలీసుల గౌరవ వందనం స్వీకరిస్తారు అనంతరం అమరవీరుల పుస్తకాన్ని ఆవిష్కరించి పోలీసు కుటుంబాలను ఉద్దేశించి ప్రసంగిస్తారు అమరవీరులకు నివాళులర్పిస్తారు అలాగే విధి నిర్వహణలో అమరులైన పోలీస్ కుటుంబాలకు ఆర్థిక సహాయాన్ని ముఖ్యమంత్రి అందిస్తారు ముఖ్యమంత్రి జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి ఇందిరాగాంధీ మున్సిపల్ స్టేడియం కు చేరుకున్నారు విధి నిర్వహణలు అసువులు బాసిన పోలీస్ సిబ్బంది వివరాలు అమరులు వారు రాష్ట ముఖ్యమంత్రి వర్యుల వారికి సమర్పించారు దానిని డీజీపీ గారికి అందజేశారు గౌరవ డీజీపీ గారు డీఐజీ టెక్నికల్ సర్వీసెస్ వారికి అందజేశారు ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ పోలీస్ శాఖలో అమరులైన వారి వివరాలతో కూడిన అమరులు వారు మాటిఎస్ బుక్ ఆవిష్కరణ కార్యక్రమం ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట ముఖ్యమంత్రి వర్యులు గౌరవనీయులు శ్రీ వైఎస్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారి చేతుల మీదుగా పుస్తక ఆవిష్కరణ కార్యక్రమం జరుగుతోంది అమరులైన పోలీస్ సిబ్బంది వివరాలు అందులో ఉన్నాయి అమరులు వారు మాటిఎస్ బుక్ ఆవిష్కరణ కార్యక్రమం ఇప్పుడు జరుగుతోంది అమరులైన పోలీస్ సిబ్బంది వివరాలు అందులో ఉన్నాయి ధన్యవాదాలు ఇప్పుడు రాష్ట పోలీస్ సర్వోన్నత అధికారి శ్రీ గౌతమ్ సవాంగ్ ఐపీఎస్ గారు పోలీస్ అమరవీరుల సంస్మరణ దినం సందర్భంగా తమ సందేశం అందిస్తారు Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Shri Vyas Jagannamohan Reddy Garu, Honorable Home Minister, Shri Mati Mekathoti Sucharita Garu, Honorable Ministers, Chief Secretary, Shri Samir Sarma Garu, and Honorable Public Representatives, Dignitaries, my colleague officers and men, media friends, family members of police martyrs, and all the invitees and dear students who are present here this morning my heartfelt greetings on this occasion of police commemoration day this is a very emotional and poignant moment for every police officer as we remember the sacrifices made by our fellow policemen in the service of the nation on this occasion i thank everyone for being here and joining us in paying honors and homage to the police martyrs during the year 11 police personnel from our state and 377 colleagues across the country attained martyrdom and further 206 police personnel succumbed to covid during discharge of the duties of covid enforcement related work every policeman or police woman draw inspiration from their supreme sacrifice on this day and it is in this inspiration that drives all to continue with the selfless service to the people and rededicate ourselves oneself in the service of the nation for the rest of his or her career on this occasion i would like to quote the inspiring words spoken by paramvir chakra captain vikram batra who made the supreme sacrifice for the motherland in the kargil war i quote either i will come back after hoisting the tricolor or i will come back wrapped in it but i will be back for sure these words symbolize the commitment any policeman carries in the discharge of his duties 
our beloved Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, also said, quote, on police commemoration day, we salute all the brave martyrs who sacrifice their lives, putting service above themselves. Words can never describe the valor and dedication of our policemen. Their bravery, service, and spirit of sacrifice will always inspire us, unquote. On this day in the year 2019, Honorable Prime Minister dedicated the National Police Memorial at New Delhi to the nation in recognition of the sacrifices made by the police personnel since independence. Hailing the police personnel of the country, he said it is due to their alertness that the elements which create unrest are unsuccessful in their attempts. The attempts to create fear and insecurity in the nation were foiled by you. The peace prevalent in the nation is possible only due to your services." Unquote. There is no doubt in saying that among all professions, police is one of the greatest responsibilities in the face of the most difficult and harsh working conditions. Whether it is day or night, summer or winter, rain or shine, a policeman is expected to be always available and on guard. Peace and tranquility, safety and security, order and stability is essential prerequisite for development and progress of any nation. To ensure this, police make sacrifices on a daily basis as it relentlessly guards the society from evils of terrorism, extremism, conventional crime, cyber crime, and all sorts of antisocial and disruptive elements. Today, I take this opportunity to sincerely thank the Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redigaru, for the care and concern exhibited by him and his government for the police department and its personnel, particularly towards welfare and well-being of its personnel, so that they are better enabled to discharge and perform their sacred duties and responsibilities to the state and its citizens in the most efficient manner. One of the first decisions taken by the government on assuming charge is to sanction and enforce weekly offs. For decades, a dream of every policeman was achieved in our state, a first in the country because of the benevolence accorded by this government. However, due to COVID-19 challenges, which demanded every single personnel of the police department in the service of the citizens of Andhra Pradesh, it had to be kept in abeyance temporarily. Sir, the weekly offs will be resumed with immediate effect as desired by the Honorable Chief Minister. All the policemen and the families are grateful to you, sir, as we have also magnanimously assured recruitment of new personnel to reach the requirement for total implementation of weekly of for one and all. The government has made another welfare leap by enhancing the salary of the home guards and improving welfare of the lot, an often neglected lot. Sir, with the constant inspiration and guidance given by you, many such welfare measures are on the anvil and going to be rolled out for the police and the home guards in the times ahead, a few being launched today. In an extraordinary gesture, Honorable Chief Minister has been kind enough to release uh, rupees 15 crores towards welfare grant which has been pending from the government since 2017. This measure will give a great fillip towards the welfare activities of policemen and their families. Further, today with the support of the government, we are able to extend a special grant in addition to all others of rupees 10 lakhs to each of the 206 COVID martyr families as Honorable CM has come forth to give a matching grant of rupees 5 lakh which is being contributed by the police personnel. Respected sir, we are indeed better prepared and poised to bring in the transformation and changes that you have envisioned for us, making the police citizen friendly and service oriented agency of the government which will remain our constant endeavor. With such encouragement from the government and the confidence reposed by the people, Andhra Pradesh police will embark on new heights to face any situation and win accolades from the government and its citizens. Whatever the crisis and wherever the place may be, AP police shall endeavor to remain ever great ready and prepare to face the challenges and rise up to the expectations of all in the service of the state and its citizens. With ardent respects and homage, my salutations to the police martyrs. Jai Hind.